Guys and girls, welcome back to a new video and uh, two athletes to talk about today. We're going to kick off first with Julius Maddox. He's also known as Regular Strength on uh, Instagram and he's literally just in the last couple of days become the new record holder for the unequipped raw bench press all-time record, uh, setting it at 744.1 pounds. For my European friends such as myself, that's 337 kilos. He, uh, he had the record um, before that. He actually um, hit in September 739.6 pounds, which is 335 kilos. But obviously, um, just in the first part of the segment of the video, you saw that he hit the 337 kilos. And very comfortably, you know, it was fast and powerful. And everyone, um, including himself, believes he can get to 800 pounds, which would be an amazing achievement. Here, obviously, you're seeing he's hitting... Um, Three reps with uh, with that crazy weight. Again, um, phenomenal strength. So the previous record was set back in 2015 by Kirill Sh Sharef, the uh, Russian powerlifter you see here. Now he actually hit 738.5 pounds, which is 334 kilos, just under 335. And um, obviously that was the best at that point. But Julius just comes in recently and absolutely smashes it. So uh, it's an incredible achievement. He is, um, he's a sponsored athlete. He's sponsored by Tough Raps. He's from Kentucky, uh, so he's an American guy. And uh, he's 32 years old. Here you'll see he started um, teaming up with Eddie Hall recently. Obviously Eddie's in and out of the America all the time it seems and just collaborating with everyone at the moment. Um, what's funny obviously is that Eddie was chasing 700 pounds himself and now obviously he's he's been training with this guy who who does 700 pounds like it's nothing. Um, so it's very interesting to see these two collaborate and um, I'm hoping it's actually going to motivate Eddie to, to push himself a bit harder again because obviously he's taken it back quite a significant amount over the last couple of years since doing the deadlift record and obviously winning World's Strongest Man in 2017. So it's really cool to see these two collaborating and it just goes to show that there are other strong men out there and um, I think Julius has got all the potential to go on and hit 800 and, and possibly more. Hopefully, obviously, he doesn't get injured along the way. He's still fairly young. I mean, 32 years old is, is certainly not old. I would say he's, he's at his peak um, or he's getting close to his peak, but you know, the way he, he, he comes across in terms of his training and his focus and everything he's doing in his life is really admirable and very impressive. Excited to see how you get on in 2020 as you are a very much up and coming athlete. And uh, guys, make sure you follow him and support and like all his stuff because this guy is truly an inspiration. On to the second athlete that's been causing quite a stir for the last um, five to six months on social media. And that is Ivan Makarov Sila. He's a Russian powerlifter and he's also a non-sponsored athlete. So everything he's doing is of his own uh, investment in terms of money, uh, supplementation, drugs, you know, you name it, everything's coming from himself. He's obviously chasing uh, Eddie's 500 kilo record. The, um, obviously, there's a couple of videos here I'm showing you where he's hitting uh, different deadlifts in different ways. This is obviously the 540 lift, um, but it's elevated off the ground, um, I believe was about 18 inches. And uh, in each video, it shows him hitting some impressive weights. Uh, you know, the guy can hit over 450 kilos uh, quite comfortably. Many people say he doesn't have the upper back strength to actually f uh, hit over 500. Um, he has, there's a few videos where he's attempted 500 and he's bombed. Um, obviously, this one here is where he bombs there, so that's the, the 500 kilo attempt. But it's looking at his stats, I would say he does have some very good numbers. Um, and he's still fairly young. I mean, 30 years old. He doesn't look 30. He certainly looks a lot older. I'm not going to lie. I was quite surprised when I, when I found out he was only 30 because he's the same age as me. I thought I was looking at a man in his late 30s. But, you know, he does have some impressive lifts. He's very strong. And I'm just going to run through some stats you now quickly on some recent uh, competitions he did. According to the Open Powerlifting um, personal best and competition results that I found online, um, he, he didn't qualify for 2018's World Championships at 27. However, in 2017, he did have um, a, fairly good, uh, a fairly good run. Um, he came first, and the same in 2016 as well. Um, at 2016, he was 25, and then he was 26 uh, in 2017. Um, looking at his, his numbers, his uh, deadlift in 2016 was 771 pounds. Uh, the following year was 859.8, which is 
apparently his best. Um, this was non-equipped, by the way. This is all raw. And in uh, 2018, um, he attempted 903.9 pounds. Um, but as I said, he didn't qualify for that. So uh, it's interesting looking at these numbers here because they don't actually marry up with the videos we've seen on this um, on this video. However. I don't believe they're fake weights. I don't believe he's Brad Castleberry. And um, I believe that he has got some very good raw power and strength and, and, and potential. However, um, there are doubters. But like anything, everyone says it can't be done until it's done. So I'm wishing him success. And I think that he's definitely got possible potential to, to get there. Um, obviously, people say that uh, the mountain half or he he's the only one who's got the potential to to match Eddie's deadlift uh, and go beyond that. But obviously, he's he's taken a back seat for the moment till the Arnold. So it'd be interesting to see um, in twenty twenty who actually does get that because it seems to be you know the the milestone that everyone's aiming for. I've covered it in quite a few videos. You'll see it in my Giants Live video that I posted in July, um, and a few other strongman videos. So check those out as well if you want a bit more information. Anyway guys, I hope you liked the video today and if you did, please remember to leave it uh, leave a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button. Uh, 2020 is looking like a really exciting year for Strongman and Powerlifting and I'm really excited to see how these two athletes get on. Um, like I said, please show some support to them. They're both up and coming. Uh, they're both showing some incredible uh, potential already. Obviously, Julius has already set records. Um, I think now, just obviously for Ivan, he needs to prove himself in the right setting. So he's hopefully going to be invited to the Giants Live um, and World's Strongest Man. He's going to try and get in there. So hopefully the right things happen and no politics get involved. And uh, let's see an exciting year moving ahead into 2020 for these two guys. So anyway, anyway, let me know your thoughts. Um, do you think Julius is going to get um, £800 or 750 or more on the bench? What's his potential, especially because that was a raw lift? Um, what could he do if he's assisted uh, with like a suit? Um, and also, what do you think is going to happen with Ivan? Is he going to be the next, um, the next sensation in the industry? So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you soon. Amigo One Fitness, signing out.